Mortuary Assistant, Episode 1. This is an indie horror game from 2022. Um, I love indie games because they're such a mixed bag. Um, you've got absolute gems, you've got garbage, everything in between. Uh, when you don't have a big corporate publisher looking over your shoulder, anything can happen. Um, and, you know, as somebody who loves board games, tabletop games, and so on, I really like efficiency of design and that's something that has to be a big factor in indie games because you have to make the most of everything with very limited resources. Um, at the same time you have a lot more freedom to be creative so uh, I'm looking forward to this. It's a really cool premise, really creative I think. Um, I expect it will be very peaceful, chill, you know, just just me and the peace and quiet of the morgue and uh, you know just vibing out, seeing what happens. I'm sure nothing will happen. Nothing will go wrong. It'll be great. Uh, this was actually... I didn't realize this at the time when I picked this out, but uh, it's not only an indie game, it's actually a solo developer. Um, and I looked on their store page on Steam, um, and they've got like five or six games over the last four years, uh, which is really impressive. So let's get into it and see how this goes. I didn't really mess with any settings here. Um, just going to go right into it. I know very little about this except, you know, what I've seen in the uh, trailer on the Steam store and read a couple of reviews. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field, There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. Taylor Swift. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma... Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. It's fine. Relax. It's fine. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just Thank take you. it, please. It should be yours anyway. Thanks. <laughs> all right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. I was not expecting it to open that way, actually. But I didn't really know what to expect, I guess. All right, here we go. Let's do something about that sensitivity. Oh, here it is. Whoa, not that much.
Okay, that's better. Okay. It's daylight, so everything's fine. Crosses on the walls, that's definitely uh definitely means we're safe. It's back here. Breaker. this mean? I don't have my clipboard. I don't have my clipboard. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Thank you. Pencil. Used to sign the paperwork. Access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Most but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Right mouse button. Okay. Right mouse button. Pencil. I can't use that here. No. Okay. We're learning. And here's a body. Some, uh, nice little ambient, uh, noise. Kicking. Rebecca! Oh, Great. God. Perfect timing. <laughs> I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key, then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Okay. Oh. Bring a body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body in, pull out the rack, and move the cart over to it. Left mouse button. Okay. I forget what the name was of this guy. Probably this one. Just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. You're the uh, actual mortician, I take it. But 
clipboard used for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Space. Space. Okay, distinguishing marks. I am wondering how much of this is like like scary walking simulator versus you know like deduction or something like that. I really know very little about this. Um, so we'll see. What are we looking at here? Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, interact with them to record them to the clipboard. That looks interesting. Do I use the clipboard first or What am I missing? Am I missing something? Hover the cursor over... Examine? These old windows never stay latched. It's daylight. It's supposed to be safe now. Maybe you should just stay closed. Okay. What am I missing here? <laughs> It's a magnifying glass, so I click it, hover the mouse, I can't do anything. It's like glowing or something, like I'm supposed to interact with that part. Oh, here we go. That looks... Other way, dear. Uh, other way. There we go. Okay... Ugh. What about this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and this. Is that everything? Oh, 
Uh, okay, I guess that's not something. And that might be everything. Cool, what now? Is that everything? Do I come over here? I might not have everything if he hasn't uh, moved yet. Enter markings into computer. Hmm. He's still at the computer, so I must be missing something. Oh. Great. Climb on in here and put everything okay. into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. So. After that, we'll get started. Okay. Enter cadaver information. You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You alright? Yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. I think that's against the rules. It's daylight still. You're not allowed to do anything scary. Click the record system icon, open the program, match the sections on your clipboard. Oh, okay. Left arm, head, left leg, right leg. Click submit. I see we're in uh, 1998 here. Okay. Name. Do I enter? No, I guess not. I click. Age. Left arm. Right arm, left leg. Right leg. Cool. Did I win? Print out... Packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. Large item. Do I have like... Oh. I have inventory space or something? Limited space? Here. Time to embalm. Time to embalm. Should be safe. Uh, Raymond is here. Alright. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Okay. Everything's on your list there if you need it. On my list. Oh. Wire draw shut with needle injector and settings needles. Wire... Is that this? Needle injector. Nice. Okay. Large items held in your hands. Need to drop a large item before picking up another. Small items in the pockets. Okay. Assuming I would pretty much always want the clipboard. Okay. But I can drop stuff. Needle injector. And... What was the other thing? Settings needles. This. Okay. 
this won't hurt a bit. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull, then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Pull up and press the button, then twist the wires. Okay. Pull. Uh, press? Okay. Pull. Move this. There we go. There we go. Easy game. Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. These. Open the eyelid completely, interact with the eye to place the cap, close the eye. Op open. Open. Okay. All right. What's this? I don't know. I don't know. Um, mix embalming fluid and pump. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, formaldehyde. Are, are those all... Are they around here? Is that these? No, these. I can't hold anything else. Oh. Uh, okay. Where did the other... No, go away. I can't hold anything else. Uh, okay, I guess I dropped this. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. I don't know about you, Raymond. Oh, mix in here. Okay. Pick you up. And you. And you. Okay. Make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Scalpel. Nurse. Okay, that's not a large item. Carotid and... <laughs> you, uh, some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. Quick inventory, use the clipboard. No. Use forceps to clamp tubing to both veins and connect to embalming pump. Forceps. Tubing. Forceps and tubing. Cool. I'm learning a lot about embalming. Uh, 
and then turn on the pump. Close incision. Do I need? Hmm. Remove tubes. Oh, close just like that. Fill an empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid and insert trocar into abdominal cavity. Bag. Uh, fluid? What? Was that it? Hmm. Must have been my imagination. Um. Oh. Cavity fluid. Insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. I'm uh, missing something. Begin the flow of embalming fluid. Pull the trocar back, rotate it, and reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Okay. I need to find. Oh, it must be this thing. Cool. Insert till it stops, and then uh, oh. and we're going. That's a nice noise. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay. Mix cleaners and bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. Ah. You. I can't, I can't hold anything, I can't hold anything else. Uh, I already used you. I guess I have to drop it afterwards. Wait, are these all the same thing? Up the wrong thing. That's not it. That's not it. Mix cleaners in the closet to create tank cleaner. That's not it. make it tank cleaner it says to create tank cleaner so I guess I already did it um, pour into embalming pump
Okay. the wipe across facial features while holding down interact until the lotion is used up. There you go. Ugh. I'm I'm sorry, I tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh are you sure? I just got here. Nope, sounds good. Let's go. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today, and call you in for your first shift. Yep. Yep. I should probably do the day shift, and you can, uh... It's fine. I'll give you a... You can come back here at night. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, that I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not Thank you. feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. Yeah, I'm not feeling so good either. In. Um, uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Nervous laughter. Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Mm. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Or Bye. will you? Holy shit, that was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go, like, right now. I'll talk to you later. No, no. Let's keep Megan on the line. <laughs> uh, where are my keys? Nothing bad can happen if someone else is on the line with you. Interesting, uh, interesting layout here. Um, what am I looking for? Keys or something? Um, oh. Cool. This is... Definitely an apartment. <laughs> I thought that was... I thought that was just a big picture of macaroni. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be maggots or something. Like, what is... What does pasta have to do with... Alright, let's go die. I don't know if you can die in this game. Like... Are you actually trying to stay alive, or...
Nighttime, raining. A voice telling me that I'm going to die here. Sounds great. Whenever there's like a horror game, horror movie, or whatever, somehow it's like keeps you grounded or something to know that like if you see like a normal thing, like street lights or cars or whatever in the distance, or you hear like you're like something normal somewhere is happening, like someone somewhere is safe, like the world is still okay. But of course there's a giant fence around here, so we don't even have that much. We're just in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Alright, I guess, guess I'll, I'll head, head to the, the back, back and, and die. I mean, get started. Um, he said something about his badge <gasps> being... I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. That's Raymond? I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. To act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. <laughs> so we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Raymond, Damn it. What the it. fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just I don't think I want this job after just play all. Play along and do your job. Okay. Head back to the bombing room. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. <laughs> Who does something like this? Ah. This place isn't so bad. It's pretty cozy. Just a room, and a hallway, and another room with bodies in it, and uh, the lights are on. Alright, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do no, more for sense. you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. Okay. The most important thing in the so, room is in that cabinet. Open it up. 
Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <sighs> this is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Okay. Tapes. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion. All of the whatever tools this used, is. I'm getting back to And work. most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Um. This? to spell the demon's name? What happens if I just guess something and just burn a body? <laughs> I lose, I guess, I assume. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, mm. I didn't really mean to permanently put that in there, but, uh, um, maybe we already lost. <laughs> special piece of scripture with the ability to reveal demonic markings. When a marking is near, the parchment will smolder and combust, bringing the marking into the material world to be found. Uh. 
so I'm right on top of one. Uh, what do they look like? I mean, they look like that, but what do they... It could be like under things, or do I have a? Oh, I have, I have a crouch button. Uh, am I limited on? I think I have unlimited use of this, right? Not exploding now. Do these marks go away? With Maybe that was like scripted, like the first one you pick up, like it demonstrates what it looks like when it happens or something. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy. Weakening you until you are unable to resist. So I'm on a clock. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. Interesting. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. So, I'm on a clock, but I don't know how long it is exactly. I don't know if it's real time or triggered by like actions or something. But it sounds like the closer I'm getting to being fully possessed or something, the more clues I'm going to have. How do I take this out? <laughs> Is it too late? <laughs> or maybe I just like... Yeah, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh... I don't have my clipboard. I sure don't. Where? So I need to go fetch a body. Just start... Start embalming bodies, I guess? What's this? Uh... I need that. I need that clipboard back. Is it? At least I can keep track of things. Okay. Same thing. Uh, I just kind of methodically. Uh, going through these bodies until I think that. I'm not really sure how I tell when I have a correct body. I guess we'll find out. Notebook, pencil, pencil. Seems normal. Any sigils? Assuming they're just at any given point, there's a sigil somewhere and I can find it, or maybe they just appear over time. Alright, let's get a body. Can't wait. 
probably open the door. Crummy old building. Lock me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Check you out. By, let's see. <gasps> Hello? <laughs> nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Okay, as I was saying. That's something. Don't like the way you're smiling at me, Tracy. Uh, what else? Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Good. <laughs> I got a triumph for an achievement for uh, getting back to work. Sounds good. Oh, something. I guess I'll need to find some more tapes to get an idea of... What do I even look for to figure out what the correct body is? Ah. There we go. Is that a cue that that was everything? Yes. Enter. Okay. I'm assuming I still do this. I need to file the copy up front. He said the code was in his personal possessions drawer or something. Wherever that is. Okay, all set. Oh, it's uh. <laughs> we gotta. Three looking thing. There we go. All set. We're a quarter of the way there. <laughs> okay. Up front.
Oh. So the... <laughs> the lights are gonna go out and I'll have to put a new fuse in somewhere? Sounds nice. Be able to... I guess not. Where is this code? Time to embalm. Yes. I wish I could remember what he said about. I feel like this is the right. This is the closest thing to the drawer that we'd be talking about. And if that night shift system is what tells me how I figure out what the... Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Still doing Bye, okay? What the fuck was that? Hmm. Anyway... Needle injector and settings needles. So this time I have to actually find, okay, here's this, and this, <laughs> mm, looking good there. that stuff. Scalpels, forceps, and ooh, is that it? Yes. Every time I turn around, I expect. Oh, it's fine. Open all the way. Huh. That didn't happen. Close. All right. All right. Mix the fluids. Do I have to mix that reagent in? I don't have to do that for all of them, right? Only the one that I think is the demon's body. But I don't know which one it is, and I'm following these steps, so I probably do need to put it in all of them? I'll just put it in all of them. Any more sigils? Looking for G, M, H, and F. Uh, yes. That? Yes. That's 
F and H, I need G and M. Oh, here's G. And Why didn't you let me die? Sir, <laughs> you... <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh, where's the methanol? You need to... Here it is. Uh, hello? Let's try that again. I don't think it quite picked it up properly last time. Methanol, nope. That is the one I need, right? Methanol. Am I missing something? Did I pour it on you? <laughs> to uh, ignore it and it'll stop. Incision. And forceps and tubing. These. And this. Drain, turn off pump, remove tubes. here, sorry. Um, bag. Uh, 
Remove tubes, close incision. I need one of these. Take you out. Close up. Easy. Ugh. Beautiful. There we go. Easy. Bathroom closet. Okay. Don't go anywhere. <sighs> Every time I... Something's gonna happen. Every time I... <sighs> what? Interesting. Quick sanity check. That looks uh, promising. Bathroom. Definitely gonna have to come up here and replace the fuses or something. Lovely. Okay, he's still there. Good sign. Good sign. And we come in. Whew. Sigils. I wish I could figure out, like, I'm not going to be able to do anything <laughs> without getting into this. Where did he say... drawer. I think that's what he said. Oh, nice and clean. There you go. All right. All right. All set. Let's get you back to bed. figure out which body it is. 
I guess I just take it back out and put the tablet thingy on it and go from there. Last night, anybody? Andy Roder. I mean, I'm assuming I just keep going. trouble. Just gonna keep going. I just really need to figure out where that guy is, where the code for the night shift system is. It's like I can't do anything else until... Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to look that one up. We'll see. Uh, oh, 20 years old. Six markings. There's one. I'm actually kind of a wuss with horror games. Uh, <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with them. Like, I love the atmosphere. But I'm a total wuss, so... Um, it's funny though, there's like, there's a lot of things that... A lot of different kinds of like, things that are considered horror, like, where do those tropes come from? And there's a lot of different kinds of being scary too, there's like jump scares that are just like startling and it's not really the jump scare that's it's not really the jump scare that's even scary it's the anticipation of the jump scare like knowing it's coming <laughs> you know I'm tense when something normal like thunder is like a surge of adrenaline did I get a... Uh, no. One more thing. I forget what I've... already looked at. Did I already get... Oh, I see. This. There we go. Now just some nice relaxing paperwork. As long as I'm using this computer, I'm perfectly safe and nothing can happen. So there's only three... I guess like one shift, shift or whatever, is uh... There's three bodies and I have to pick which one is right and pick the right sigils for the name and burn the right body out of the three. Okay. And I'm assuming if I just... I'm assuming if I guess wrong, I get possessed. Try again to see. 
see if I can find the, the drawer that has the code in it. Unless it's... does nothing. <laughs> I see the lights went out in that hallway. I'm sure that's fine. And we're still decent. Okay, it's gonna stop. Where is this? Ooh. I don't know what to do about the... I don't feel like there's anywhere else I can look unless like I'm getting the controls wrong and I'm supposed to be able to pick up one of these things. So... Yeah, it's not in there. I don't know. I might have to look it up. Okay. Gotta pick up another one of these. And it's this one. I wonder. I wonder if the like order matters. I don't think there was anything... I don't think there was anything else on the sigil that implied which slot it went into. I might have missed something, though. <sighs> it was nice and safe behind this desk. Maybe I'll just stay here. Push some buttons. Okay, let's get started on body number two, two. Needle injector and needles. Don't like that hallway anymore. Shout out to actual morticians. I had no idea that you have to be fighting off demons every time you process a body. That's crazy. Uh, eye caps. Where did I find those? Down here? Easy game. Let's see. Okay, now the fluids. This, I think. Uh, 
I wonder if I can... Can I, like, repair the light? Like, are they all gonna go out like that? Is that what I use the fuses for? Maybe if I go up front and there's, like, a fuse missing or something, I can turn that hallway back on. Nope, sorry, not home. Not here. Oh. Yeah. That's great. I think I'm good. You know what? Little privacy. That's fine. The door can be closed. What was I doing? Right. said new shift on the menu. Every time you do this, is everything like a little bit different? Maybe like where where everything is, or I mean obviously what the sigils are are going to be different every time. I mean we're halfway there, right? two letters out of four. I just need to figure out how I'm supposed to tell which body is correct. Make incision... okay. Cool. Grab this. Here. Mm. Beautiful. And four steps. Paper? No. And tubing. Just come in here. Uh. <laughs> Might as well answer the phone. Yo, thought you'd be hiding in Billy's place. Your dad needs a total fucking loser. <laughs> Ran down to the beach in just a sec. Grab the kid and get down. Your party's gonna start without you. Oh, don't like that. Turn around. There's gonna be something there. Uh, it's fine. It's just, uh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm missing something. Oh. At least she has the presence of mind to, <laughs> to tell me that she's, uh, that I'm missing something. Keys? Somewhere? Oh my god. Oh. It's great. This is great. This is fine. Maybe it meant that I'm supposed to go over here. Nope. Uh, this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Can't leave without that. <laughs> okay, maybe now we can go. Oh, uh, not turning around. Nope. Oh, that's 
just you. Hi. You did this to me. No. It was all your fault. <laughs> Gonna need you to settle down. Okay. Maybe that was... Ew, what? Was that a clue? Like, the thing that came out of the water, right? That's like what it looked like, right? Oh, and the door's open again, lovely. Where were we? Okay, we're fine. It's all fine. Ooh. It's not fine. I don't know, is this like, uh... Is it real time that, uh... I'm running out of time? Bag. <laughs> uh, Remove these, close that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's fine. A little privacy. That's cool. Cavity fluid, uh, do that part now. Search, you know, went into there we go. techniques and everything and kind of recreating the actual stuff that they do. Mix the cleaners. Okay, I guess I have to open that door up after all. That's fine. No worries. Everything's fine. Nothing's here. Everything's fine. I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna check this uh, desk every time until I figure out where I'm supposed to find that code for the... Paper? 
Oh, man. I just opened this door. Oh. There's not supposed to be another hallway here. Ugh. I am not a brave person. Something's gonna jump out from the side here, and... Maybe if I sprint, everything will be fine. Ugh. Now I have to turn around. And there's gonna be something there. Ah, okay. Just some doors, everything's cool. Last door. How's my... <laughs> Just checking. Thank you, good sir. Uh, appreciate it. Gotta go. Oh. All right. I'm I'm ready. I'm done. <laughs> Nothing just happens, that's all fine. We're fine. Putting the fuse back in did not fix the light in the hall. All it did was trigger a bullshit... Uh, <laughs> ah, it's fine. Everything's fine. What was I doing? Pour the stuff into the thing. Um, moisturizer. Let's get you. Why can't I? Oh. Fine. All right. You sound very calm, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, my God. Lights, please. Turn the lights on. Thank you. Anytime now. Anytime. Anytime. Ugh. Flipping the switch down, turn them on. I feel like that this hallway's pitch dark now. To the dead comfort Well, you know, <laughs> sometimes they do when they're not like pulling some pulling some bullshit, getting up when they're not supposed to.
All right, I need to take a breather. That'll do it for episode one. I'll put episode two up soon. Um, I read this is about ten hours, so I'm aiming for like five episodes maybe of this. So thanks for joining me. See you next time.